Hey fellow gamers, it's Cozy Mel and I am here with a video for you. That we are in Palea and we have finished the Temple of the Roots and Ianar has come to visit. So let's see how he's doing. Salutations, he says. Thank you for your aid at the Temple of the Roots, but there is a new matter now. Hecla and I have received messages from the gardener that suggest he has been unhappy since our last visit. Unfortunately, he seems reluctant to take any advice we provide. Like, get a life, uh, grow a pair of legs, and walk out of the garden and, and make a friend like Ian R. and Hecla have? I don't know. I assume his discontent is because he cannot engage in his oneness without a fully functioning factory. He needs a new oneness. Given he can no longer look after other Galder, perhaps you can convince him to find a new oneness looking after something else? After all, scanning my fish with my ocular units fulfills my oneness. And Hecla feels no greater, greater satisfaction than cooking for her Gina. Perhaps you could inspire a new oneness within the gardener by bringing him a meal and a Piscine companion? Oh, a fish. Oh, Kidoki. Pisces, fish, I get it. Wow, okay, he ran away fast. He is tall and has really long legs. Okay. So, we are going to go back to the temple. I never thought I'd hear say those words. But, apparently, we'll be able to jump through some hoops, like um, the, the doors that we opened up for the gal door, and um, maybe get straight to the gardener. But, I assume we have to take him something in particular. Maybe let's take a peek at our um, quests. So let's see, the gardener's new oneness. Ianar and Hecla think the gardener is sad. Okay, so we are to take him a kill him a catfish and a cream of mushroom soup. Anyway, we're gonna cover all the news. There has been some news releases this afternoon that are brand new and exciting. Number one, we have to go back and see the gardener, which is the quest that we just received from Ianar. However, there's another part to this. Singular86 has announced that when we go to see the gardener, he will give us a gift in return and he will give us some trees, uh, tree seeds. Now, one of the tree seeds that he's going to give us is very special. It's a seed for a flow tree. We will be able to bring it home, plant it on our property, water it carefully, and um, take good care of it. It will grow a flow tree, and when you cut it down, you will get flow wood from it. Now, you're probably not going to get a flow tree seed from it when you cut it down. But for this one and only time, you're going to have your own flow tree in your own yard. I wouldn't cut it down to save my life. I would save it forever. I might just put it like dead center of my front door. No, <laughs> I'll find some place to put it. But that's in the news today. News number one. Oh, and the news gets better. Now that all of the Mujin are back in town, I wanted to let everyone know that the Cernax are gone. Okay, that's not true. The Cernax are not gone like the Mujin were gone. The Cernax are missing because they've all been shot with bows and arrows. Now, why is everybody in Palea out taking out all the Cernax? They're disappearing right and left. You can go out there and go hunting. You might find one where you used to find 10. Well, it's because Singularity 6 announced a surprise today. Now, they're saying this was always planned and that it was accidentally left out of the patch notes for this patch. But they have made the cutest, cutest little deer Cernak plushie I have ever seen. Is he not adorable? And this plushie is available from Hunting Cernak. Now, I believe if I understand this correctly, <clears throat> they said that there are Cernak plushie counter parts 
of every type of deer, and there are four types of deer. So um, there are the buff or dun-colored deer that we see in Kilima. If you have a nice bow and nice arrows, I use an exquisite bow. I use fine arrows. Most people use a step or so down from that. But um, I'm lazy and I want to get them in as few shots as possible. So those deer in Kilima only require one arrow to take them out. Um, then there are deer in Bahari Bay and there are two types for me. I have to shoot certain types twice and certain types three times. And it kind of depends on the length of their horns and how dark black they are. Um, because they seem to be like a, a Cernak, uh, more of a full Cernak, and then uh, like a elder Cernak. Or so for me, it is one shot, two shots, or three shots. That's how I divide up my Cernak. But anyway, there should be a plushie for each of those kinds. Now, this came with a bug, of course, because it's patch week and you know there's a lot of bugs. So the proud horned Cernak, the one we call the fancy dancy deer, the flow infused deer or the disco Bambi, if you will, um, it's supposed to also eventually drop a plushie for you, but right now it's not working. So if you plan to go out and kill 200 Disco Bambies to try to get that special flow infused plushie, um, it, you won't be getting that. It's not working. So they will let us know when it is working. But the other three kinds of Cernak will eventually drop a plushie for you. However, um, I have heard today one person on my Discord who got the plushie of one of the types and he killed 250 Cernak. So that's quite a few. So I don't think you should expect this to be quick. I think it's going to take a little bit of time. But how exciting is that? They could have waited. They could have waited a few weeks when... You know, when we're finished playing with all this new stuff we got yesterday. But no, they went ahead and gave it to us. So I just, I, I think that's above board and exciting on their part that they went ahead and did it. I just, I think that's so awesome. Um, now, another thing that I can confirm for you, and I did not know this was happening. This is news to me. I was very surprised to find this morning that my little statue gives me a present. <laughs> so you know how when your kitsu jumps and runs away each day the first time you see him and he leaves behind a little bag with a little gift for you and it might be 10 arrows or it might be three fur, you just don't know. Um, this guy does the same. So this is our ancient Galdor or ancient Galdor robot that we got for finishing the vault of the roots. And he is here in the yard in his special place of honor. And he left me some loot this morning. One juniper seed. Oh, nice. Okay. So I got a treat seed. There it is right there. Plant this to grow a juniper seed. Well, I have not planted any. Um, as you can see, what is in my bag? Bugs and bugs and more bugs and more bugs and more bugs. I have a hundred bugs in my bag at least. And I had a hundred bugs in my bag when I emptied it earlier into, into the sales bin. And why do I have all these bugs? Well, I want these flowers. Okay, this is the blue hydrangea. Now, the blue hydrangea, I feel, is very difficult to get because it comes from the duskwing butterfly. And that butterfly is rare or epic. I'm not sure. I can't remember which one, but it's hard to get. Um, the, the bush next to that, that is the rose bush. And that seed um, came from a Kilima night moth, which we see quite a few um, Kilima night moths. Um, 
I am not great as far as RNG goes. I, I have kind of bad RNG luck. And so um, I think I killed 25 <laughs> before I got a seed. But, you know, I mean, I'll take it. Um, this next one over, um, I think this is a Forsythia, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, it comes from the Spotted Stink Bug. And I found those all over Mirror Field. Oh, gosh. See, I'm going to get these confused. I know the tulip in between. The purple, I think, is the Chapa tail. Um, and this is the Grimalkin tail. <clears throat> I can't help it. I think of Zeki. And, and Zeki is a Grimalkin. He's a cat. And I think about Zeki's tail growing out of my yard, and it cracks me up. But anyway, okay. So the... Grimalkin, um, the Grimalkin tail flower comes from the common field cricket. Now, the next one over is the tulip, and that came from the garden leafhopper. <clears throat> they're also in those same areas, but they're just a little bit more rare, you know. Um, but it's doable. None of these are as hard as the duskwing. That, the hydrangea is the only thing that's, that's you know, really kind of hard. And then um, the yellow tall one, um, that one is called, that one's Forsythia. So if that's Forsythia, the, oh yeah, okay. So the pink one was anemone and the anemone comes from the mean bug, the mantis. <clears throat> so that's from the garden mantis, the anemone flower. Sorry about that. I told you I was gonna get them confused. The Forsythia flower is the one that came from the stink pug. And I think it's so big and grand and tall and beautiful. You know, I think it really gives a lot of pop um, considering it comes from a stink bug. My goodness. Okay. And then of course, this is a tiger lily and it looks exactly like a tiger lily. Um, so, you know, I was just amazed at how well they did with the art. And that comes from the proud horn stag beetle. And those are the ones that come out underneath a rock when you mine a rock or a copper node in Kilima. Um, that's what comes out sometimes. And that's where you get those. And then this is the chopper tail flower, the purple one. And I can't remember... Oh, lavender. That's what. Okay. See, I am. So, oh, I'm sorry. I am so confused. Okay. The lavender came from the garden millipede. That one was a little hard to get to. The garden millipede, um, they're on the hillsides, kind of between where I found them, between town and mirror fields. It was the lavender. Yeah, the lavender flower garden millipede. I'm. Wow, I am having such a hard time. Okay, sorry, for Scythia, that comes from the stink bug. And then the uh, tiger lily flower um, came from the proud horn stag beetle. And then this purple one is the choppa tail flower. I've gotten those confused, but this uh, purple one is the choppa tail flower. And it's the one that comes from the brush tail dragonfly. <clears throat> I think I've done so many videos in the last few days that I have lost my voice, I've lost my breath, <laughs> I've lost everything. Okay, so what else do we have to tell you about the flowers and the bushes? Well, um, for one thing, we did not have the announcement originally until today that there is a limit. Okay, so flowers have a limit of 1,000. So that you can have 1,000 flowers on your plot, however, those are included in your furniture allowance or your item allowance, okay? So you are allowed to have 3,000 items on your plot. If you have 1,000 flowers, then you only have 2,000 items left, okay? Um, the other thing we were not sure of, we did know yesterday that each fully grown bush that does not need to be watered any longer and none of those are ready they're not fully grown yet but these are so if you have one that's fully grown and i planted these yesterday you can get it says get seeds but you will get one seed 
Okay, so if you look in your bag, you got one seed. You got a gardenia seed from the gardenia bush by, by pressing F on your keyboard, whatever your interact key on the switch is, I assume A. That's how you get a seed, and you will never get another seed from that plant. It doesn't say it anymore. It will never say it again, okay? So you just get the one. However, if you plant that one, which I did over here, and it grew, and now it says get seed. So I can get one seed and never another one, never again. I'll never get another seed out of this plant. But it was a second generation plant and that I grew from the seed I got from this one. So now I can plant another one. And when it's finished growing, I can get one seed from it. Yes, this is a very slow process. You're not going to have a thousand flowers doing it this way. At least not for, you know, uh, not quickly. You will in 500 days. But um, it's still doable. So if you can't catch bugs for some reason, or you're really struggling to catch bugs, you do have a way to go ahead and propagate your flowers one at a time. And I think that's a wonderful gift from the devs, that method. Now, the other thing is a concern that I was told today, and this is a concern. This is not from the devs. Um, but one player was picking up her uh, bushes her flowers and bushes and moving them around on her plot. And she already had more than she needed for the spots she was going to put them that day. And she wanted to be able to make some decisions about what she was going to move. And so she put them in a chest, a storage chest with other furnishings. Now she can't get them out of the chest, okay? Now we don't know if this is gonna happen to everyone but I don't want to take a chance. So I'm not putting any in a chest. However, we do all have a free second plot. So if you push your H menu, you have a default slot. That's what we are on right now, but you can push the drop down menu and go to, you know, one of your other slots that you have for free. So you can put these all in your bag. Say you've got 20 flowers in your bag. You can come to your H menu, travel to your empty plot or whatever it has on it, but you might have an empty plot. And you can just plop all those flowers down in the yard, plant them, grow them there, take them there, already fully grown and plop them in the yard. Oh, those are almost all the announcements. Um, I do think I just have one more. And that is that if you are truly struggling, and I don't recommend this because there are too many things um, from the Bug Guild, from being a member of the Bug Guild, there's too many things you can get with your medal. And bug medals are hard for me to earn because I don't do enough bugging. Although I will be doing a lot more bugging now. I mean, look at those flowers for heaven's sake. But if you just absolutely are desperate, you cannot stand it, you cannot wait, and you cannot catch a bug to save your life, or you have to work all week, you know, 20 hours a day, and you can't do it, you can go see Ani, and you can purchase one seed for like, I think, uh, I think one of these, oh gosh, I forget what the singularity thing said. I think it said 20 metals. So if you wanted to trade 20 bug metals for this one seed to grow a blue hydrangea, you could. Um, and I remember several of them were 20 and several of them were 10 and maybe one was 15. And I think the two littlest ones were seven metals. So I think maybe like the little tiger lily, the two easiest ones to get were seven metals each or something like that. So that is at, you know, just talk to Ani and that is part of his bug selling guilt. Okay. And um, other than that, the only other big news is this is our springtime furnishing set. And I did make all of it is, you know, the little brazier, like hand warmer, whatever you want to call it. This is the chimney. This is the swing. 
This is the Little Rock statue. So cute, the Balanced Rock statue. This is the wheelbarrow, of course. This is one of the small lights that goes in the ground. This is one of the archways. I love it. I love the color of it. I love everything about it. This is the other small light. Looks great. And over here, we have uh, this beautiful, beautiful. And then this is some of the garden edging or path edging. This is the one that's made out of wood. So I made a few pieces of that so I could look at it and decide um, where I might want to put it. But um, I think these pieces, they're just beautiful. And who thought we'd have a pergola, you know? We just, uh, all this outdoor stuff is so beautiful. Now, these recipes, you buy three of them from Badru, and then you bring them home from Badru. And as you make them, you will get inspiration to make the other pieces. So that is what's coming along so far. And I also did make this little white uh, pergola type thing. I don't know, garden gate, whatever you want to call it. And I used it over here for the ancient Galder statue that I got from finishing the vaults. So that's fun stuff. But I just thought I would show you what I've done so far. And I'm not sure where I'm going to put it all, but it's all very pretty and it looks great with the flowers and everything. Now, the one little bug I have is that all the trees on my plot um, now think that they need to be watered like special little babies when they've been on my plot forever. Now, I don't know if this is a glitch or how long this is going to go on or if the tree will wither and die without the water. I don't know what's going on with this, but I don't think I'm going to have very much time to play the game if I have to water a hundred trees one at a time every day. Oh, there's my egg. This is where my silver wing sits on his nest and every day gives me a little Easter egg. He must know Easter is coming. So anyway, I'm waiting to hear what Singularity says about the fact that all of our trees that were planted on our plot most of these six months ago, I mean, I haven't planted a tree in forever, but I, you know, I just planted a whole bunch a long time ago and there they are. And now they all want to be babied and watered. So I don't know what's going on with that, but that's it. So there you go. Now you have all the brand new news from today, all in one video. Sorry it's so long, but we had a lot to talk about. And I hope that you're excited about all these things and that you will get out there and get your plushie and get your flowers and get your trees and get your gardening on. And uh, I, I'm so excited. So much going on. I'm just thrilled. So anyway, like and subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss any other news that I put out for you. And I will see you in the next one.